December starts tomorrow, but Christmas has been in full season since October 10th when Lowe's brought out all their fake trees and the blow up Santa Claus. Let's get ready and take down all this fall sh and join them. Over the next week, we will deck the halls in the parlor. Things should look a little more festive by the next episode. For now, let's send off fall with a victory shot. It's an olive liqueur my daughter brought back from Italy. Mm -hmm. Makes you wish you were an Italian. This will be our final coffee cocktail. The Carajillo is a Spanish drink. It mixes espresso with an herbal liqueur called Liquor 43. This one would be good sitting in front of a fire. In fact, that's what I plan to be doing all winter long. Add two ounces of Liquor 43 to a rocks glass. But first, we have to have ourselves a shot. Hmm, I love that vanilla taste. Two ounces of espresso. Put that one in the cocktail, and this one will be a shot. Ooh, that's hot. Nothing like an espresso shot. Float the espresso on top of the liquor 43. And that's a Carajillo. Today's word of wisdom is give. Dad always said it's better to be a giver than a taker. That's a good thing to keep in mind as we enter the gift giving season, but we're gonna take it a step further. You probably haven't heard it put this way. We've all heard the lies. It's not about getting gifts, it's about giving gifts. But if you forget to give that person a gift, they'll pout and play the martyr. I hate it when people say this. It downplays the gifts they're receiving and the people who gave it to them. Don't say you didn't have to or act like you didn't need the gift. Open each gift happily and be grateful for the gift, no matter what it is. A true giving heart is also good at receiving because it gives joy to the gift giver. Just something to think about.